Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. You will find that in the description box below. I, I will be able to direct you to the best reading possible if you just give me a little bit of a synopsis on what your situation is, yes? Just a few quick announcements. If you are in the New York City area and you would like to book an in-person reading with me, you can do so on Fridays where I am at Om Shanti Bookshop. The link to their website is in the description box below. You can check out their website, uh, grab their phone number, give them a call, and you can pre-book a session with me. I will be there all day on Fridays. Also, on Saturdays, I will be at Collective here and, and in New York City as well. I'll be there from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturdays. If you would like to book a 20-minute session with me, we do offer 20-minute sessions there. You can email Chloe at Collective NYC. Her email address is also in the description box below. And then a little bit of a special announcement. I will be at Awaken Fair in Terrytown, New York on April 28th. If you would like to pre-book a session there, the link is in the description box below. We have 15 or 30-minute sessions. Yes? Okay, guys. So getting on with this e-reading for this month. Um, again, I'm recording it face-to-face -face so we can have a nice little conversation, little chit ski chats, okay? And I'm keeping it like I did last month. So I'm going to be pulling an oracle card from the Oracle of the Unicorns get to get the theme of your reading for the month. And then I'm going to be pulling the regular uh, freestyle spread for your general energies. Yes? Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and fit it however it fits, okay? If you're cross-watching or, you know, just where something's going on or something's being described, but it's not you that's exhibiting it, and maybe it's someone else that you're connecting with, that's how it resonates for you, okay? It's a general reading. All right, guys, let's get to it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo, let's see what we've got for you this month. My Leo fam. Either way, I've got Leo in my chart. But we'll see what we've got for the Leos this month. Leo, Leo. Okay, so I'm seeing green for you guys. Definitely a heart chakra awakening or cleansing or clearing. But that's happening a lot. It's going around the board, okay? Um, we're all going through this heart chakra awakening. This cosmic heart awakening as we've just come out of the cosmic mind awakening, yes? So now we're going into the cosmic heart awakening. Everybody's being affected by it. But I am seeing a bit of love or attraction here for some of you. Maybe some soulmates coming in, potentially some partners. Who knows? We'll see. Let's get your, um, your theme for the month, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 2019. Yeah, I really do think love is the theme of the month here for you. This could be self-love. It could be love from another. Oh, there it is. Abundance. Okay. There. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't find the crystal. Okay. Abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you, but this is definitely that is something that comes easier towards you when you have an open and flowing heart chakra, all right? And so either you've been working on this personally, or this is something that you're needing, you're being advised to work on in order for greater abundance to come towards you, okay? And it's so interesting because Aries got abundance as the theme for the month as well. So I do, I really do feel like, um, for some of you, you know, whatever, whatever this means for you here, this all leads back to your heart chakra, opening and cleansing and clearing 
and coming into greater alignment with yourself and who you truly are and what it is you truly desire. And for some of you, that really, um, this heart chakra cleansing and awakening, you know, this could be something that you've been going through or this is something that maybe will start in April and continue from here. But um, there's going to be some cleansing that's happening that's allowing you to get a greater perspective as to what it is you truly want in life. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Just prepare for that to change if, you know, you had a certain trajectory in mind. Maybe if you, even if you've been working towards a certain trajectory over the course of your life. As your heart chakra cleanses and clears and opens and you come into greater alignment with who you truly are, that actually could change quite drastically in some situations. But be prepared for that. And especially with this abundance card here, the universe is saying, don't worry about it. If it's in alignment with you, it will flow. You are abundant. You have the abundance of the universe at your disposal. Nothing has gone to waste. So don't worry about it. All right, Leo? Sun, moon rising, and Venus. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got in the tarot for you this month. All righty. <laughs> Overall energy for you, Leo. Satisfaction, the nine of cups. That's excellent, Leo. But really what Spirit is saying is this really comes from you gaining some sort of inner perspective and aligning with yourself, with your heart chakra. I am seeing, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of satisfaction with just being with yourself or being who you are and not allowing anyone to take that away from you, okay? Abundance, yes, with that nine of cups. You've got the king of wands, so here you are. This is your archetype showing up in the reading here, okay? It, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius, but officially, uh, technically, the King of Wands represents Leo energy, okay? A, you really could be dealing with another fire sign, potentially an Aries. You've got the Emperor underneath that, and then, oh, whoa, but then the Eight of Swords. Now, hold on. Because that's not as bad as it seems, okay? Let's talk about this. So, uh, like I said, the Nine of Cups is satisfaction. Being confident and comfortable within yourself. Um, maybe, especially, you, you might even be gaining some sort of, you guys, you guys like my PJs? <laughs> <laughs> you might be gaining some sort of... Um, Mental clarity, um, but also uh, you may be regaining a lot of confidence within yourself. This could have been a, a really rough period for you over the past few months, um, but now you're really taking your power back with the Emperor. You're becoming strong in, in, in who you are, in the belief of who you are, and the belief in yourself and your capabilities, and maybe even regaining some sort of passion in life and breaking out of some sort of mental prison with the eight of swords. Now I am recording this reading on March 27th and some of the messages that have been coming through, I just did the cancer reading and now I'm doing Leo. Um, and they're resonating with the energies that have been coming through in some of the daily readings that I've been doing. I do them. If you're unfamiliar, I do a morning coffee reading. So I would go ahead and maybe watch depending. It doesn't matter when you're watching this energy is fluid Time is an illusion. It really doesn't matter. But I would go ahead and maybe watch the morning coffee readings for March, for like the week of like March 27th, the 25th through the 29th. Well, no, the 25th through, I think, April 1st or 2nd, so, whatever. It doesn't matter. But like the last week of March. Um, because I feel like those energies are probably really going to resonate with you. Some of the energies that are coming through right now for you, Leo, are already resonating or similar energies to that. Um, and if you like, I do have a playlist in my um, uh, on my page of morning coffee readings, and they're all dated, so you can just go through that way, okay? But yeah, you're really breaking free from some sort of mental prison, um, Leo. This could be financial... This could be career, um, or it just could be 
belief systems that have affected your career or your finances or maybe just even your in your belief in yourself okay that's beautiful energy so let's get into the surrounding energies for the rest of the for the month here um uh, just keep in mind normally i i've been saying how these are either the first half or the second half of your month it doesn't have to be that way okay energies are fluid timing is an illusion this is all interconnected anyway so you can either look at it as the first half or the second half of your reading or you can look at it as the first and the second half of your month take it as it resonates okay guys in the first half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. But what I'm seeing here is whatever healing process is happening for you, whatever satisfaction is coming towards you or you're gaining is slow and steady or at least has been slow and steady or will be slow and steady in manifesting in your life. I really don't see you rushing at all, especially with this King of Wands energy. Not only does this represent you, Leo, but it also represents an individual that knows exactly what they want and knows when to bide their time and when the right time to strike is, okay? And that's absolutely an energy that resonates with the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, potentially. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you also could be dealing with an Aries or another Leo or another fire sign. Um, and... Uh, uh, in a relationship, if this is a potential relationship that could be coming through here for you, um, it's really been slow and steady in progress, okay? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles has been, is coupled with, ooh, the Page of Cups. So we could be talking about a budding relationship here. I'm so sorry, guys. I know it looks like I'm picking my nose, but my nose is so itchy. <laughs> it gets itchy when I channel. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I'm seeing... With this page, this page of cups energy, first of all, the page of the page of cups is like the dreamer energy here. Okay, so um, very dreamy, whimsical. Um, I'm seeing some sort of love offer either coming through or wanting to come through here. Someone might be kind of dreaming up ways to. Oh my God! Sorry, guys. Someone might be uh, dreaming up ways to like approach you, or maybe vice versa. You're trying, you're dreaming up ways to approach someone else. Now, if this is not love that we're talking about here, then if this is maybe financials or career, you're in a in a dreamy state and trying to maybe identify what it is you want to do should things really be changing for you as your heart chakra opens and you gain you come more into alignment um and you might even be planning steps that you might want to take to towards some sort of new career direction or trajectory or something like that or maybe this is just a renewal of something that you've already been into and you're dreaming up ways to go about it in that sense, okay? Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. We've got, ah, the Ten of Cups. My, my, my. So you're progressing here. You're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. And I'm going to be straight up and, oh my God, I swear, my nose is going to drive me crazy. Okay. I'm going to be straight up and honest with you guys. Um... It is your own personal satisfaction coming into a, a happiness, a feeling abundant with this Nine of Cups energy. That's the first card in your overall energy. Really settling into that is what's going to help lead you to this ultimate fulfillment here of the Ten of Cups. And I do, I am picking up some strong, strong romantic energies here. Like you start, maybe you... Maybe you enter the month of April being in a Nine of Cups energy or you cultivate that Nine of Cups energy throughout the month of April. And then ultimately someone comes in to offer you a cup, okay, with the Page of Cups here that leads you ultimately to some sort of Ten of Cups situation, a relationship, a family. We could be talking about maybe a potential marriage or someone that that some uh, some sort of relationship that ultimately leads to marriage now granted don't get me wrong this is the page of cups energy 
Often the Page of Cups, it can be an offer, but it's not really much of an offer. Um, but when it's coupled with this Knight of Pentacles here, I just feel like someone is being very shy and timid and is not trying to move too quickly, is not trying to give too much at once or too quickly. Um, but I am seeing a progression nonetheless. And I really the only reason I'm saying that is because a lot of us have really been in this energy of we don't accept crumbs. Well... The Page of Cups could be an individual or a situation in which you're just getting crumbs from someone, okay? So could the Knight of Cups. I'm just feeling, especially because this is connected with the Knight of Pentacles, I just feel like this is a very slow and steady energy, not trying to give too much too quickly. Kind of being more logical about it than just flying by the seat of your pants, if you will, or just getting wrapped up in the emotions, okay? It could even be just an energy of like trying to test the waters. Yes. Okay. Ten of Cups is coupled with, aha, uh -huh, you see? Yes. The Four of Swords. So there's definitely a restful energy here. Someone is definitely trying to gain some sort of perspective on what it is that will bring them this ultimate fulfillment within the Ten of Cups. Also, I am seeing some energies of someone trying to plan out, figure out how they're going to maybe bring some sort of satisfaction or bring some sort of completion to somebody. Because I do, either this is you, Leo, or someone else, and again, this is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates, but I'm seeing someone seeing another individual as very satisfied, very happy with themselves, you know? This is almost a Nine of Pentacles energy that I'm seeing from this Nine of Cups. And so someone is trying to figure out how to bring an extra cup to this person to complete this 10. You both could be seeing each other in this way and see trying to figure this out. I do feel like there is a dominant side here that's wanting to make some sort of, sort of offer. And this really could be an offer of friendship here. This Page of Cups could also be some sort of reconciliatory energy too. Uh, in case, like maybe there was some sort of like iffy stuff between you in the past. Um, that needs to be reconciled first. That really could be why this person is taking it slow. Okay. Okay. Your challenge here in the first half of your reading, you've got... Ooh. The Fool. <laughs> Starting over. However that resonates with you, whether this is a career move, starting over in your life, reinventing yourself, or starting over in a relationship... That's the challenge here, okay? And I really do figure try I really do feel like someone is trying to figure out how to start over. Whether in a relationship or something else. Okay? And if this is just um career-wise for you or just in life in general, this is all coming from you feeling very satisfied with yourself. I don't I really want to reiterate that. And if, and if you're not feeling like that just yet, Work on cultivating that because that's going to help you, okay? The Fool is coupled with... Oh! Justice! Uh, starting over and is... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Your challenge in the first half of the month is starting over somehow. But doing that in a balanced way. And also, this starting over, rekindling of a relationship, rekindling of a marriage, I just heard is bringing justice into the situation. But the challenge is also to do this in a balanced way, okay? Which is another reason why I feel like someone is really just trying to go very slow and plan it out. And is not trying to give too much at once, okay? The potential outcome or closing message here for you in the first half of your reading, the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could also be dealing with a Libra. But the uh, closing message, or maybe even the potential outcome, is the, ver the hermit, which is going within, taking some time away, shining some of your inner light. There may need to be some inner work that needs to be done here in order for this to happen, or it's suggested that you do some inner work here. Maybe you need to do some inner work to get to this Nine of Cups state, to feel um, satisfaction with yourself, to feel confident in yourself, to take your power back and take control of your life, okay? Uh, but this is a really serious lesson, though, 
this is really could be a, a life changing lesson for you here, Leo. Okay. The hermit is coupled with, aw, the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarian now also. Um, I just want to point out, Leo, that the last four cards here are major arcana. Okay. So this is a big step for you. This is a major turning point. And whatever inner work that you do, whatever inner healing that you do, ultimately is going to bring you more wish fulfillment. You have two cards, of, you have both of the cards of wish fulfillment here between the Nine of Cups that came out as your first card in the overall energy, and now in the closing message or potential outcome here, in the first half of your reading, you've got the star, which is like that ultimate spiritual wish fulfillment, whereas the Nine of Cups is just like the... Um, monetary wish fulfillment, you know what I mean? The pleasures of the flesh, we'll say. <laughs> in some cases, not all, but in some cases. Okay, getting to the second half of your reading here for April, Leo. First set of surrounding energies you got. Ooh, there you are again. Strength. Wow, you're really coming through here, Leo. So um, this could be you or it could be another Leo that you're dealing with. But someone here is really... I, the, the first thing I wanted to say is fighting to gain the strength or the confidence to make some sort of move here. But I do feel like ultimately you're going to, to get this confidence. That's the name of the game. There's also an energy of really being able to tame the beast here. So again, somebody is really just trying to take it slow not move too quickly. There may be a lot of emotion here. There may be a lot going on underneath the surface that they might be trying to keep under wraps or hide in order to keep from moving too quickly, okay? Uh, strength is coupled with, ooh, yes, the Three of Swords, because somebody has been hurt uh, in the past. Someone might actually be coming out of a breakup. And it could be both of you. Maybe you're both aware that you have some rough history. But also, if we're not talking about a relationship here, your strength comes from learning the lessons of the heartbreaks that you've dealt with, okay? And I think you're really starting to see that at some point in this month. You may already be there, and that's helping you to feel victorious or, uh, or satisfied with yourself and with your life. I just heard, look how far you've come. That's excellent, Leo. The second set of surrounding energies for you for the second half of your reading here, you've got the Page of Pentacles. So there's that brand new start. So where you were challenged in making, in taking this leap of faith or making some new start in the first half of your reading. Now I do find that you do find the strength here through your through the lessons of the heartbreak of the past to now start anew. So you had the page of cups where there were emotions and now you have some sort of physical offer here with the page of pentacles. Even though this can be seen as maybe giving crumbs, I really just think I, honestly, I feel like for the most part, or at least the best way to look at this is to see this as starting from the bottom, okay? Starting from scratch. If this is a relationship, or even if this is a job, the, the Page of Pentacles can talk about a new job. Uh, the Page of Pentacles also talks about a level up. But either way, starting from the very beginning, the very bottom, and working your way up. I encourage that. There's really nothing wrong with that, okay? It's almost like if, it's almost could be as if someone has hit the reset button and now you're starting from scratch. It's very much the, you got to, in the major arcana, you come to the world, which is the very end of the major arcana, and then you circle back around to the fool and you're starting from scratch. But you're not really starting from scratch because you're taking all of the wisdom that you learned in that previous cycle with you to the next cycle so that you can um, do better moving forward, but also learn something new. Okay? Page of Pentacles is coupled with... Woo! 
Ooh, the chariot. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could have Cancer in your chart. Um, but I'm really seeing somebody is taking some sort of offer and really running with it or may actually be very passionate about this offer, which is why some of you may say, oh, well, I'm not taking any crumbs from no pages. You either come as a king or queen or you don't come at all. Nah, slow down a little bit because, again, this is really about starting the relationship from the beginning. And if someone is really passionate about this, I don't see why there's any reason not to follow through or not to move forward. Now, yes, that passion or the ability to follow through with this does need to be maintained. But I do feel like the chances of that happening are pretty good because the Page of Pentacles stands for or represents commitment, honesty, integrity, all that kind of stuff. Okay? Seeing things through. Because that is the that is the suit of pentacles, right? In its entirety, I guess you could say. Okay, your challenge in the second half of the reading here. Oh, yes. The queen of pentacles. All right. Someone is an earth sign. We do have Virgo here already. The Queen of Pentacles represents Capricorn specifically, but we could also be talking speak talking Taurus. Okay, um, but also someone might have someone might have the propensity towards being a little bit of a hard ass, um, maybe being a little bit of a miser. The challenge might be letting go of some things in the past. I've never really seen that seen it this way with the Queen of Pentacles. But you know, the Queen of Pentacles is very I, <laughs> I'm getting what I'm what I'm seeing here is or I'm hearing is that analogy of an elephant never forgets. So what I'm getting with this Queen of Pentacles energy is that someone might forgive you but they will never forget what happened in the past. So we're talk if we're talking about a situation in which y'all are needing to start over because shit got a little wonky Someone needs to work on forgiving and letting go. Of course, you can't forget what happened in the past because then what was the point of experiencing it? You're just going to have to experience it again so that you relearn that lesson. But someone really does have to work on not being such a hard ass, potentially. That's the challenge here. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, or in another situation, you could be on the other side. You might be too giving. You might be an enabler, right? A smotherer or like a helicopter mom, something like that. You might exhibit those types of energies. It's really about being balanced and grounded in the feminine aspects here. The motherly aspect here. Okay, so either not being such a hard ass or not being so, um, I guess you could say giving. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is coupled with, yep, the Six of Swords, but also learning to let go, right? Especially with that Six of Swords energy. Leaving the past in the past, okay? The Six of Swords is a, a healing energy. You could even see it as a reconciliatory energy. And with the Page of Cups here, which is one of the first cards, the Page of Cups can speak to reconciliation. Alrighty. Oh, okay. So something else that I'm picking up here with Strength and the Three of Swords, someone was potentially hurt by this person in the past and is holding on to that hurt or like masking it, making it seem like it's not even a thing when it kind of is. Yeah. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome here for the last half of your reading you have. Oh, yes, Leo. Six of Wands. Victory. This is also more of your energy. The only other card that, that represents your energy in the deck is the sun. We have one more card left, so chances of it coming out are slim. But 
There is so much of your energy coming through in this reading, Leo. It's really kind of fantastic. But victory here. Victorious. I mean, plain and simple. Healing also. Healing of the relationship. Healing of the two between the two of you, potentially, okay? Um... Six of Wands is coupled with, yes, the Ten of Swords. Why does this victory come forward? Because someone is able to leave the past behind. Period. Period. End of story. Oh, I, I mean, I also, I want to point out, I don't, I don't, and I guess I should have said this in the beforehand. I don't know because I picked up on it on the page of on the page of cups, but I'm not sure if I said it. But this also could just be a friendship too, guys. Okay, Leo. Hmm, that really did turn into a relationship reading. Now, uh, keep in mind that if this is a if this isn't a relationship for you, this could be any like this really could fit in any way. Um, you know, if we're talking business finances, potentially the pain from the past is keeping you strong with the Three of Swords and the Strength card, and you're moving forward with passion. But anyway, I think you guys get it. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Much, much love to you guys. I hope you have a great April. And I look forward to connecting with you again next month, May. Yeah? Take care. Bye.